Hi guys, my name is Chad, and this is your Animate CC tutorial for the week. I started off in 2008 making Flash tutorials for this channel. That's kind of how I started this whole tutorial thing. And here we are, almost 10 years later, and I'm once again going to do an Animate CC tutorial. So I guess full circle and all that fun stuff. So with that said, we're going to lip sync a character inside of Animate CC using the frame picker. The frame picker, if you've been watching my tutorials, is very similar to the switch selector, which is inside of Moho. So really, this is just another way to lip sync or create frame by frame animations with your software when creating your cartoons. So with that said, we're going to jump in and get started. So the first thing I want to show you, because I like to animate with images, is we're inside of Photoshop. And what I have done here is separated out three separate Photoshop documents. First, we have the Profile Eyes Photoshop document. Since I'm going to only lip sync the character with a profile view, we're just going to work with the Profile Eyes and Phonemes. But here you can see within this document, I have all these eyes doing all sorts of different things, so I can swap them in and out in Animate CC if I wish. And the same applies for the profile as well. You can come in here and see the profile for the phonemes, and if I were to hide all this stuff, you can see it's just mouth poses without any eyes making up that particular file. And what I did was I went into Adobe Draw and drew all of this out on individual layers, as you can see right here, and then I went through and just chose the layers I wanted inside of these separate files because these are the files we're going to use and not the template. So once you have your files set up like that, if you plan to use images, we're going to jump over to Animate CC and get started. But the first thing I want to do is create some symbols. So I'm going to click once on the screen and then use Command or Control if you're on Windows and then F8 to create a new symbol. We're just going to name this one Eyes, keep it as a graphic, and then click OK. I'm just going to back out to scene one and then create another symbol. So I'll use Command F8. We'll name this one Mouth Poses, click OK. We'll back out and do one more, Command F8. We'll name this one Browse for Eyebrows, and then click OK. So with the symbols now in place, what we can do is start importing our files. So I'm going to go over here to the library. We'll start with the mouth poses. So I'll double click to go inside of the mouth poses symbol. Now I want to import. So we can use Command R or Control R to import to the stage. And that's what I'm going to do here. Since we're in the mouth poses symbol, I'm going to grab the profile phonemes Photoshop document and then open that up. Here we're going to get some options to play with. First, I want to select all layers so that way everything is accounted for. I also want to come down here and make sure that we are converting to keyframes. So once you have those two items checked, we can click the import button. And what this will do is separate out all those layers on the Photoshop document into keyframes. And it might be kind of hard to tell at the moment. There we are. You can see right here, if I cycle through, the phonemes are changing and that is good. So we're going to do the same now for the eyes and for the brows. We're just going to double click on eyes, command R, profile eyes, select all layers, keyframes, import. And then for the eyebrows, same thing, keyframes, and then import. So now you have all the symbols in place and ready to go for animation. But I want to back out to scene one now, and then locate the mouth poses symbol, and then click and drag and bring it over like this. And then I can bring it up like so. And I could go in and try to match it with the document, but really just as long as it's within the document, you can reposition it if you need to within After Effects or wherever you plan to animate. So here we have the head set up 
and then I can bring in the eyes. So we could create a second layer and even a third layer for the eyebrows. So on layer two, I can drag and drop my eyes, get them lined up, and then we can go in with the eyebrows. Make sure we are on the third layer when we do that. And then we can bring it up like so. So I'm just going to zoom in so we can see the head a little bit better here. I'm going to expand everything out, let's just say to 100 frames. So we'll come over here to frame 100, highlight all three layers on frame 100, and then hit F5 to create that frame. I'll come back here now to frame one. And before we do Don't any other worry, work, Oliver. I'm, I'm just going to highlight for all the head pieces, come up to properties, come down to looping options, and choose single frame. That way, the symbols won't cycle through their frames. We can choose how we want to cycle. Let's create another layer now for the audio file. With that layer selected, I'll use Command R to import an audio file onto that layer. If I hit enter, we can hear it. Don't worry, Oliver. I'm coming for you. So we have that. And now we're going to go in and start the lip syncing process. So I will be using the frame picker for this. We're just going to come up here to window and then find frame picker. Here it is. And I'm just going to dock it over on the left side, just so it's a little bit easier for us to view. There we are. Bring our character in shot here. And so now it's sort of a matter of just going through and listening to the audio and then picking your frames. Don't worry, Oliver. So right here we have I... him breathing in. So we could come in and let's go down here to the phonemes or the mouth poses layer. And I'm just going to double click on that and name it to mouths. We can do the same now for the eyes and the brows. That way it's just a little bit easier for us to view. But what I can do now, we could add in that breath. So just click on mouths and you can see on the frame picker, we have all of our mouth poses separated out into thumbs and it's locating those keyframes and creating those thumbs for us. And we have at the top a create keyframe option. So this will automatically create keyframes as we move. So we want him to breathe in I'm just going to come down here, click on this one, and you can see that a keyframe has been added. So at around frame 15 or 16, we can add in the teeth pose. So just come down here, locate that. We're going to locate this one, find the O sound. We could keep going and just add the T sound the O sound. And I'm kind of doing this quickly, not really paying too much attention. But as you can see, don't worry. It's starting to work and we are forming it and we are molding it as we go. And of course, we could add in different poses for the eyes and the brows. So maybe when he breathes in, we want his eye to close. We could even change the brow. Maybe it's like that. And then when he starts to talk, maybe he's looking this way then. Come back to the brows, and you can, and we can change or lower that, and you can just keep going and building this up. Don't work as you go. Now I'm only animating the head without the body because I plan to export out the video, and then bring it into After Effects so I can integrate it with the cartoon I am currently working on. And I've already done this, and it might be kind of hard to tell, just with the way it's rendering. But you can see if I page back and forth through this that we can see some of the lip syncing taking place. So you can see right there, the eye is closed. The mouth's a little bit different. And again, I probably should have rendered this before doing the tutorial so we didn't have to wait. But you can see that there are different things going on. So all I have done here is once I lip sync out the head, I just go into the rig that I'm working on. So I can locate, for instance, Zach, get up, go into the rig. And in this rig, I have the actual animation taking place. But if I jump one more in, we can go into the actual Photoshop document where everything is separated. And you can see right here, I exported out the heads from Animate CC, and I just overlaid them over the top of the head template. 
if I were to hide these and bring the head template back, that's what it looks like. So when I export out my videos and bring them in here, I use that template and I just drag and drop the video files of the heads over the template and then hide it. And then I just match up the heads for when I want them to animate. So we have the first one firing right away. And then you have the second one come in here, as you can see at this point. So that's how I am working with this. And that's why there's only a head in Animate CC right now. You could, of course, bring the body in, design the body, and animate everything in there in addition to using the frame picker. However, I like to animate in After Effects. And sometimes I like to use Animate CC, Moho, or other software to help complement the workflow. And that is a little bit about the frame picker inside of Animate CC. It's great for frame-by-frame-like animations, cycling through keyframes within symbols, and creating things like lip syncing. And it's also very useful when you just want to look quickly through a symbol and find a frame or a certain asset where you might not be sure where it's at, because the frame picker displays that very nicely and allows you to really dive in deep and work with your symbols with a visual interface. So if you'd like to see more tutorials on Animate CC, leave them in the comments. Or if you'd like to see other tutorials, leave those in the comments as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.